Hi everybody, this is Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for coming to hang out tonight. We're going to throw down some cards for Libra for the first half of April. And yes, it is April 1st. And once again, this Saggy's running a little bit behind. But dealing you know, with a lot of weird, negative, anxious energy surrounding me all day long. So it's very hard for me to come home and read cards. But I'm getting it done to the best of my ability as fast as humanly possible. Anyway, enough about all that not-so-happy jazz. This reading will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. And if it doesn't resonate, you can just ignore this reading and forget you ever saw it. Or check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. Whatever you want to do, I'm not going to twist your arm. It's not why I'm here. I'm not here to tell you how to live. But some of my longtime fans call me Big Mama Sag. That's actually what my old tag name was. So I, I have a tendency to go into mom mode every once in a while. Just ignore me when I do that. I don't mean to be aggressive. It's just my Sagittarian nature. I apologize in advance. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. And if you happen to be a cross watcher stepping in to spy on an ex or what have you, you are more than welcome to be here too. Come on in and have a seat. We'll throw down some cards, drink some coffee way too late at night, and have a good time. Okay. One more shuffle for Libra. We're going to get this party started. <sighs> Fly in totally blind tonight. Set this aside. Libra, why are you here? Seven of Cups reversed. A little bit of confusion. Can't make a decision. I'm not putting you on blast. My mother was a Libra. And I once stood in a Walmart with her for four hours while she picked out a crock pot based on color. So you're not known for your decision making. Don't take that the wrong way. You have a hard time making decisions once in a while. It's just in your nature. Just like it's in my Sagittarian nature to call people out once in a while. I do it out of love. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Six of Cups. You may have some old fond memories with this person. This could be somebody you've been hanging out with for a minute. Could be somebody you want to make memories with. What do you think of this person? The Moon Reversed. Hmm... could be Pisces you're dealing with. This will be the third water sign card. So, just keep that in mind. For those of you who might be dealing with Pisces or a Cancer having a brain fart. Yeah, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Sorry, that happens to me once in a while. It's all the coffee. You're not sure what to think. You think they may be hiding something from you. Or you may feel you need to hide something from them. Take it over resonates. Things are yet to be illuminated. Not quite making sense. There's a forest in them. There are trees, I promise you. What do you want from them? The tower. The tower does not have to be a bad card. This is a Scorpio card, by the way, just thought I'd point that out. Water sign. If it's resonating. Sudden and abrupt change. Somehow I don't think you want the tower to come tumbling down. Could just want to shake things up a bit. But there's confusion. How do they feel about you? Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. The shoulda, the woulda, the coulda. 
And there's the cup that the universe is trying to hand you. Somebody's being subtle. Just kind of sitting there, chill. Not saying anything, just, here's the cup. But somebody's too busy looking over here at the coulda's and the woulda's and the shoulda's. They're not seeing it. This might be somebody that you've known for a while. What do they think of you? Five of Swords. The Swords are the cards of change. Ugh, sorry, the Fives represent change. Different thoughts. Possibly picking up pieces, depending on what's depicted, depicted in the card. I'm not seeing this as a picking up of pieces. I'm seeing this as... They think things may be changing. Ideas may be changing. How they think about you is changing. What do they want from you? Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords reversed. Might have to get some clarity on that. The Knight of Swords reversed is the card of the cutoff in communication. Or maybe somebody's been spying and they want you to stop spying. Or vice versa. Somebody needs to open their mouth. Talk. It's like a running theme. What's the challenge here? Two of Swords reversed. The inability to make a painful decision. I think I know where this is going, but I'm not going to say much more until after all the cards are flipped over. I'm pretty sure I know where this is going, Libra. What needs to be done? Seven of Swords reversed. Somebody needs to be honest. And the confusion. Somebody wants a relationship to change. I'm sensing deep feelings here. Potential outcome. Emperor reverse. Someone having to admit that they're vulnerable. Somebody having to relinquish control. Oh, what am I clarifying with tonight? I don't like the tarot Illuminati. We're going to use this one. I think I may have to dig into the box for the rest of the Zodiac Wheel. I don't know. These cards are getting a little bit tired. I'm not buying any new cards right now. Mostly because my favorite bookstore is not open currently. None of the bookstores in town. Yeah, I could order online, but no. No. I like to be able to actually physically look at the cards, look at the boxes, feel the vibe. I can't really catch a vibe from a picture on my phone or my Chromebook. I have to be present with the object. I mainly order online if I'm just getting a replacement deck. But anyway, back to you, Libra. strange. The hanged man was hiding in this deck. I don't think this was an accident. It's another water sign card, by the way. Just thought I'd point that out. I'm going to hang this out over here because I don't think that was an accident. I think I may have accidentally left it in there, but the fact that I clarified with this deck was no accident. Everything happens for a reason. And I don't want to be accused of not playing with a full deck. Wow. Anywho, one more shuffle for Libra. 
Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for Libra, please? Chariot. It's a card of forward movement. Or being pulled in two different directions. Confused, unable to make a decision, take it however it resonates. Libra. You gotta make a decision. Flew out without intention before I was able to get the words out of my mouth. The Three of Swords. Why is the Moon card in the reverse here? Three of Swords. Heartbreak. They may have broke your heart once or you broke their heart. One more on that. Emperor reversed. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. Not a water sign. You think this person's a heartbreaker. They're out of control. Something you're not... There's secrets. There's... I keep hearing just when you think you know a person. Just when you think you know a person. They're out of control. They're vulnerable. You broke their heart once. Why is the tower here? Thanks. Prince of Cups. I'm hearing what the hell, give it a shot. Water sign card, by the way. Just thought I'd point that out. I keep getting water. So if you're dealing with a water sign, this is definitely your reading. What the hell, give it a shot. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. Let's shake things up a bit. They want to change. They want to evolve the relationship. They have emotion for you. They may have for a while. You could have given this a shot once and it didn't work. Hey, let's try again. Ten of Cups Reverse popped out. I definitely think that this didn't work out before. You didn't complete a cycle. Stopped at dead in its tracks. That's how they feel. They want to. They want to try it again. They want to complete the cycle. Why is the four of cups here? Three cups reversed. Card of disconnection. Why is the three cups here? Empress reversed. I had to make sure nothing else flipped out. Three of Cups reversed. Empress reversed on top of a Four of Cups. It didn't work out before. I think you struggled to maintain a friendship. I think 
someone could possibly be afraid if, if you go for this, it's going to end the friendship. You guys have been hanging out for a while. Six cups. There's confusion. Being pulled in two different directions. Do we or don't we? Why is the five swords here? With this Empress Reverse, this could be someone you possibly have a child with or have a family with. Empress Reversed, Ten of Cups Reversed, kind of the same card. Three of Pentacles. There's a foundation here. A coming together, a changing in thoughts, a, a reunion. High Priestess reversed. Someone's denying a connection. Like you're definitely connected and up there, but down here it's just not coming together. Potentials there, but there's blockages. Why is the Knight of Swords reversed here? Seven of Swords in the upright. Truths and filtered information. I think somebody wants to clear the air. Like, I'm hearing, if you want to find out stuff about me, don't, don't look at my Facebook. Don't look at my Instagram. Don't, don't see who and what I'm tweeting. Talk to me. Don't, don't listen to what other people are saying about me. Okay, why is two swords here? Why is two swords reversed here for the challenge? Two cards. King of Wands and the Star. The challenge here is forward healing and movement. Forward movement and healing. I knew what I meant. It's... Riding that wave of passion again. It's making a difficult decision. You've maintained a, a cordial at best relationship. Possibly someone you have uh, had a family with at one point. Or children with. Someone maybe having a hard time letting go. Why is the seven of swords reversed here? For what needs to be done. I threw you. You didn't come out on your own. I'm not taking you. Thank you. Four of Wands reversed. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, wow. It's not very clear, universe. Truths need to be spoken. Doors need to be closed so other doors can open. And someone needs to be patient. One more. I always say one to clarify. I usually pull three or four. Very seldom do I get the message that needs to be conveyed with one card. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups reversed. Think it through.
Confusion will clear in time. Confusion will clear with truth. Doors need to close for others to open. Okay. Oh. The hair fit in the upright. Just kind of flipped. Gee. Two stories here. Acknowledge that this is, a, this is a blessed union. This is a soul union. Even if it's no longer a marriage, it's still a soul union. And it is to be respected here in our little 3D world. In the game we're down here playing. And there's a lesson to be learned. There's a soul lesson to be learned. The Hierophant. The Pope. He marries people. He teaches people. He's a jack of all trades, really. Why is the Emperor reversed here? For the potential outcome of this situation. Eight of Swords. Someone's vulnerable. Someone's all wrapped up. Two of Pentacles. Juggling. Trying to keep balls in the air. Trying to keep balance. Alchemist in the reverse. Unable to manifest. Until you sit down and clear the air, close the doors that need to be closed, and be patient with time and time healing all wounds, if you believe in that sort of thing, and respect the connection for what it is, it will remain vulnerability and being all open head and not manifesting what you want, and juggling. Okay. Temperance and the King of Swords. Logical thinking and patience. Energy is flowing properly. Making logical head over heart, not emotional decisions. A decision needs to be made before balance can be restored. Okay. Libra, I hope this helped. I'm utterly speechless. That's a rarity with me. All right. If you feel like you're in need of a personal reading, I am available for that. Like, share, and subscribe if you feel so compelled. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Libra. Again, my mother was a Libra. I have the utmost respect for Libras. I really do. You guys are great. You guys can be some of the best friends a person could ever have. And I am blessed for all the Libras that have been in my life. Because there's been quite a few. Thank you so much for spending time with me this evening. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. Come back and see us next time in a couple of weeks for your second half of April reading. And tomorrow evening or Friday morning, I will be uploading the weekend top and bottom reading, your, your little uh, mini sneak peek on what might be going down over your weekend, okay? Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you later.